What's up, Internet? Reviewing today a new RX 580 from Asurix. And I know what you're thinking. Paano naging new yung RX 580? It's a very old GPU. In particular, from Asurix, we also reviewed an RX 580 a couple of months ago. But they have a newer version now, and cosmetically, it's very different from the old one. The newer version is nicer looking, parang all white siya. But is there anything going on under the hood? May binago ba sa cooling system? Can we expect better performance? Kasi yung RX 580 is a known performer. Malino naman what games run well, and what games siya magsa-struggle. Has Asurix done any tinkering under the hood? para ma-enhance yung performance ng RX 580. Long story short, it does look like cosmetic changes only because the numbers we saw from the new RX 580 are plus and minus around thereabouts of the performance of the old RX 580. So we did pair this with an R7 5800X, a bit of a more high-powered CPU than you would normally pair with this GPU because we wanted to make sure that there were no performance bottlenecks on the CPU side. Both RX 580s were very similar. In Forza Horizon Zero 5, at high settings, the minimum FPS we got from the new RX 580 was 47.8, compared to 48.5 with the older one. Max FPS of 76.3 versus 77.2 for the newer one. Average FPS of 62 for the new one, and 62.9 for the old one. A one frame per second difference is not noticeable to the naked eye. Temperatures were also basically the same, with 59 and 58 degrees for the new and old RX 580s, respectively. The sameness continues in 3D Mark Time Spy. First test had 25.49 FPS for the new RX 580 and 25.13 for the old one. 21.41 FPS in the second test for the new one and 21.11 for the old one with temperatures of 68 and 69. Lamang nung isang degree yung bagong RX 580. Finally, the newer RX 580 did run a little hotter in Furmark at 63 degrees compared to 59, but it also got a slightly higher score. So, mukang cosmetic changes lang dito sa bagong RX 580. To be fair, it does look good. Yung selling point kasi ni Asurix is that they are relatively cheaper cards. They are well priced for the market. Pero maraming ang tatanong, even in our older videos on Asurix cards, matibay ba sila? We've had hours for almost a year now, like the older ones at least. Abot na isang taon. We do regularly use them in the shop. So far, okay naman sila. They haven't broken down. In the comments, we do get feedback that sometimes people buy Asurix, nasisira, pero pinapalitan naman ng brand. And I guess that's a universal theme among all of our Asurix videos. There's nothing really surprising. The GPUs that they put out. Medyo kabisado mo na yung performance, maganda yung price. Pero yung flip side nun, can you trust them? Again, we only have a limited sample size to work with, the cards that got sent to us, but so far, they are chugging along. And kung magka problema, at least in the feedback, in the comments that we've been getting, responsive naman si Asurix. But like I've said in the old videos, it's up to you to decide whether you want to run the risk. Cost-benefit analysis. It's a good GPU for the price, but the downside is it is a relatively unknown brand, and that scares away some customers. Nothing unexpected from this latest RX 580. It does its job at a good price, and it looks better than the old one. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kami ng computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolo ko hin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.